here we go. We're looking at the Photoshop workspace, talking about how to use text and images in multimedia class with Mr. Nick. So introduction, basically looking at Photoshop for the first time. Um, right now I have up some of the essential things that you want to know. Um, in the one of the first things I want you to know is up top, you know, we have what I'm going to refer to as your Windows file, just like almost every program is where you're going to make a new document. The cool thing about Photoshop is it asks you right off the bat from the top, you know, what is your intended purpose for this? And then it gives you some file presets um, for how you want to do it. So if you want to do something for film and video, it's going to give you presets that are like an HDTV, 1920 by 1080, which you can see up here. I was talking about my video class these these are the settings we want to use for creating documents and photoshops intended to be used in video but let's say for today we're doing something for a photo um landscape two by three that's the size of a business card three by two inches at 300 ppu that would be also for the purposes of our demonstration kind of a good size i think for a id and we're talking about that in our class so i have this document here and this document here and they're in two different tabs which is cool because i can go back and forth between them right over here on the left are all my tools and we will be learning them throughout the class at the top are generally selection tools things that you can use to take different parts of stuff and i'll use some of those and then we have kind of drawing and painting tools in here um, and then we have some text and a little bit of vector stuff and some other moving things around um, and, and our view tools. We have our foreground and background color with a flip-flop arrow that we can switch back and forth quickly between them. Some artboard tools and masking. And then our panels over here and other menus, quick, quick, uh, quick panels that you can pop out like character and things with text is what I use often. Um, layers is something you want to almost always have up um, so you can see where things are because Photoshop is is one of the great powers of Photoshop from the very beginning of Photoshop is its ability to work and stack things together, right? If you think of every layer as this transparent thing, I'll show you what that looks like. Down at the bottom of the layers here, you can create a new layer and it should show if I turn this layer off. This is our layer that has old man nick on it and our whole id it shows nothing here right because there's nothing on that layer okay it used to show a uh, transparency grid it might might do that uh, i don't gotta look at it they changed this thing with every update but it used to show in black and or gray and white tiles i always liked that because that to me symbolized that there's nothing there um nothing on this layer anyway but I can turn that layer on and off with my eyeball. And I can cut and paste stuff from one layer to the next. And then I can stack things and move them around in back of and in front of each other using layers, which is a really, really great thing. And I can also change the way layers interact with each other, right, to create filters and stuff like that. Um, so a lot of things we're going to be doing, there are filters. Uh, we're going to be making our own kind of filters. We're we'll be learning how to select things. We're going to be working with types. We're going to be working with images. We're going to be editing things. So that's our basic walkthrough of what things are. Um, anything that's outside of the artboard is unseen and will get cropped off, and we're, we're not going to worry about that. So um, that's our basic walkthrough. I'm going to show you one thing really quick here, how to cut stuff out. And we're going to use our polygonal lasso, this tool here. If you click on any tool, and you click around. This one works by selecting things using straight lines. I'm just going to make a box around my picture ID, and I'm going to go to Edit and Cut. Notice it's the same Control X as um, you, you would use in Word. I'm going to go to my other layer, and I'm going to Control and V, paste it, puts it right in the middle. Go back to my move tool, and then you can see I've got this above, and I move my layer down below. Move this layer up. Now it's behind. Okay, magic of layers. All right. Thanks for looking at Photoshop.